Hello and welcome to the channel. Be sure to share, like, and comment down below. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for daily videos on news and politics. Boom! Devin Noon says that if FBI paid to spy on Trump, it's absolute red line. It's over with. No honest American will stand for this. Representative Devin Nunes joined Maria Bartiromo on Sunday Morning Futures to discuss the latest developments in the deep state interference in the 2016 U.S. elections. It has been widely reported that the Obama administration had a spy working inside the Trump campaign. And also, as previously reported, there were internet sleuths who have determined who the FBI spy was inside the Trump campaign. Jeff Carlson at Market, Market's work on Thursday put together a piece uh, that, and where he believes in an individual by the name of Stefan Halper as a potential FBI spy inside the campaign. Now, it was a lucrative business for Stefan Halper as Stefan Halper was paid a total of over $411,000 in 2016 and 2017 for his work with the U.S. government that included work, uh, included his work spying on the Trump campaign. Now Devin Nunes told Mar Maria Barta Tamaromo, if this is true, it's over. You said it was the mother of all leaks conducted by the Department of Justice. What were you referring to? Well, there were two uh, mainstream media outlets on uh, Friday night uh, that had lots and lots and lots of details. Uh, if any of those details are correct. So remember, we don't have any documents. We can't confirm whether there's an informant or not an informant because we've never been told nor, nor given documents. And in fact, we've never even asked for the name of any informants or any sources whatsoever. So if any of that is true, if they ran a spy ring or an informant ring and they were paying people uh, within the Trump campaign, if any of that is true, that is an absolute red line. There is not an honest person in this country who can believe that taxpayer dollars going to, to fund this ring and, and operate like this, like what's said in the, in the New York Times, I think, it would have quite a, you know, quite a bit of detail on it. If any of that is true, this is a red line in this country. You can't do this to political campaigns. But, but I mean, this was done, I mean, according to them, this was done in, in the spring. The, I mean, the, before the counterintelligence investigation was even open. If that's true, we need to know about it. So, well, the New York Times reports and, and the Washington Post that somebody was paid. Somebody was paid and they were interacting with the Trump campaign. You want to call it spying? Fine. But somebody was paid. Isn't that right? That's what the New York Times says. If, if they paid someone, it's an absolute red line and this is over with. I mean, I, I don't know how to say this. I mean, there is no possible way that, that we should be allowing, even if it was legal, we should never allow this in this country. Congress should not allow for anything like this to ever occur again to any political campaign if it in fact happened, which is why I'll say again, all they got to do is provide us the documentation. If they didn't do anything like that, provide us a document so we can verify it. Well, when you say this is over, what do you mean this is over? I mean, we have <laughs> we have criminal referrals from the Inspector it's, General it, what, what to I'm Andrew saying is it's over. And when I say it's over, meaning that that this whole thing is a scam. I mean, that there's real FISA abuse here. If there is real, I mean, there's real FISA abuse. I just can't imagine uh, if what's if it what's in the, these stories is true. How can any American stand for this? And look, we're, the, we're a separate branch of government. We set up these uh, capabilities. We have a responsibility to oversee these capabilities. And, and I'll tell you, there is not an honest person in this country that thinks it's okay if sources, informants, whatever you wanna call them, go around and start passing out money all over the globe to do what? To, to secretly put yourself into a presidential campaign? That's not acceptable How in this country. How far up the line does this go? We know that Loretta Lynch and, and Sally Yates were briefed on the Trump campaign in 2016, in the spring of 2016. We know from Peter Strzok texts that uh, he said, and I quote, President Obama wants to know everything we're doing about on this. And we know that Peter Strzok told Lisa Page we need an insurance policy should Donald Trump win the presidency. So who was calling the shots here? Well, look, there's a lot of abuse here, and so they, they were briefed in the spring. So we, we know that the FBI briefed the highest levels of the Obama administration in the spring of 2016. Shortly after that, you have Mr. Steele that gets going. He's being paid by the Clinton campaign secretly. He's also meeting with the FBI. He's, he's digging up what ends up being totally phony dirt 
by the way, who he, sa he claims got it from Russians. And so I, I don't know how clearly I can possibly say this. If anybody's looking for collusion, all they have to do between the Russians and a political party, all they have to do is figure out if in fact Christopher Steele talked to Russians because there you have your collusion. They took information from Russians and they used it against the president, President Trump, and the Democrats and then they paid started, for it. And the, and the Democrats paid for it all. Yeah. And and this is so. So I don't even know what they're investigating at this. So point. what wouldn't wouldn't Robert Mueller be looking at then? Then I mean, Robert Mueller's investigation has turned one. It is one year old this last week. Would he have looked at at, at collusion between Hillary Clinton and the Russians then, or is that not his mandate? <laughs> I, I doubt it because I mean they've never even looked into. There's all this talk yeah. about leak about leaks. What about the leak of General Flynn's phone call with the Russian ambassador? What about well, that, that leak? Why don't, we, why don't we start there with leaks? Yeah, well, that we know is a felony. Well, uh, real, real quick, the IG report is forthcoming. What are you expecting from that IG report? Will justice be served? You know, I, I don't have any idea. Uh, this is the Clinton email investigation. Uh, I have not met with Mr. Horowitz. I don't even know exactly what he's looking at other than what I've read in the press. Uh, but I can tell you, the cast of characters that are involved in that investigation are the same cast of characters that we are investigating at the House Intelligence Committee as we look into FISA abuse and counterintelligence operations. And you're also investigating the State Department. Anything new there? Yeah, so, well, that's the, the interesting thing about the State Department is, is we're trying to figure out how did this information make it over from London to the FBI? We've never been able to put that together because we were told many times, and this was all over, you know, it was leaked, oh, these were trusted Five Eyes sources and, you know, intelligence products. Well, as you know, we never found any intelligence products as it relates to our Five Eyes partners sending us information. So how did it get through? Well, we thank the State Department because we have people talking about uh, this, you know, former State Department officials talking about this. So. If that indeed happened, now we have something that's totally irregular. So now you're taking information from the State Department, you're opening up a counterintelligence investigation into a political campaign. That is, to, to say the least, it's irregular. And, and we should point out that on this program, you said in the past that Sidney Blumenthal and Mr. Scherer, Cody Scherer, were actually funneling information to the State Department. Right. You kind of have a, you, you, you kind of have all kinds of people, right? You've got Christopher Steele working for the Democrats in the Hillary Clinton campaign. You've got Blumenthal and others who are tied and affiliated with the Clinton operation. And then on the other side, you have the FBI. They're all about at the same time running investigations into Carter Page. Hmm. I mean, I, it's very, it's, it's very odd. You make a lot of good points, Mr. Chairman. Real quick before you go. You all right, so be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below and tell me how you feel about this report. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Let's make America great again. Peace.